I thought I'd make a quick video about something interesting I just came across. Uh, this will be a freebie video for my Patreon subscribers. And this is a piezoelectric motor. So let me show you how it works. This is just a plain piece of small glassware, and I'm going to put it on top of the motor and press the button. You can see it spins around. If I take the glassware away and press the button, nothing happens. So it's not like this is spinning, at least not macroscopically. But if you put a hard object, especially like glass on here, uh, it spins it around, no problem. Pretty cool piece of tech. And so as you can see, this is PCBmotor.com. And what's happening here is each one of the little elements in this ring is a piezoelectric uh, surface mount component. And if you uh, create a, a wave that travels around this ring of components. As the wave travels around, the components contract and expand, and it creates like little fingers that push the object around. So as long as it's in mechanical contact with the object that you want to spin, it's literally just like having fingers push around the object like this. The efficiency is not quite as good as a typical magnetic motor, but there's a couple of attractive qualities to this technology. One is that you can build a motor without a center hub. So obviously this one, you, you could put a, a rotor in here that doesn't have a center to it, uh, which could be useful for a lot of applications. Also, you don't have to make the motor round, of course. You could put these in a straight line and make a linear motor. So if you put this on the bottom of a robot, it could potentially drive along in a straight line. Or even more interestingly, you could build a motor that's not round or straight. Like you could put this into an oval shape uh, and have something follow a track, uh, it, it, you know, in an oval, or any shape you want, really. Also, if your application can't tolerate magnetic fields, for example, if you're building things that go into an MRI machine, uh, this is useful because there aren't too many ways to create motion without magnetics, but piezo is one of them. Of course, since this is piezoelectric, the voltages tend to be pretty high. So this circuit operates around 200 volts, I believe, and it's built with a couple transformers here. So the drive circuit is actually a little simpler than you think. It, it does have a microcontroller, but that's not strictly necessary. Um, it uses the microcontroller to optimize the drive frequency. And uh, if you have these standing waves, these sort of ridges in the piezoelectric ring that push this thing around, it's very advantageous to have the the whole stator structure. You can see the circuit board is cut out here. What you want to do is have this ring sort of mechanically resonate at the right frequency. And so the microcontroller on here uh, measures the resonant frequency and then tunes it to get the best possible power transfer. Okay, I hope you found that interesting, and I will see you next time. Bye.